This is a quick tutorial to demonstrate how to create slides for advertising various events before a service. We're going to use a piece of software called GIMP, which is a photo editor, and we're going to fetch an image from the internet and edit the image so that it can, can be used as, a, as an ad advertisement uh, before services. So the first thing we'll do is open our browser and I'm going to search, we're going to create a, a slide which advertises something to do with Sunday School so I'm going to search for images containing uh, images uh, related to, to children. Google will give me this list of search results but I'm looking for images specifically so we click on that tab. The other thing we want to make sure of is that the image is big enough so that it doesn't lose, it isn't distorted when displayed on the screen. So we can specify the image size by clicking on search tools as like so and saying that we want a large image. Um, there's a nice image, let's click on that and view the image. And now what I'm going to do is right click on the image, copy, and we will run GIMP and if you go into the edit menu now you can choose to paste whatever you've copied onto the clipboard as a new image and so there we have our image and we can close the browser now we're going to write some text on the front of this image and uh, you can see there that at the moment the foreground color or the text color is set at black and the background color is white uh, we want to we're going to write something with white text so let's reverse those two you could also obviously go in there and change the color to yellow or whatever you want but let's just stick with white for now to create text we're going to click on the text tool and we'll drag a text box like that and we center it nicely and let's set the font to Museo Sans or whatever you would like let's set the font size to 60 pixels color we've already decided is white and we click in the text box and we can write whatever text we want to include there so Sunday school starts again next Sunday um, let's put that on a new line uh, I'm going to highlight all the text and increase the font I'd like it to be a bit bigger not, not that big uh, I'd also like it to be center aligned and you can see in the in the text box here you can you can change the alignment at the moment it's left aligned uh, let's center it and I'd like to emphasize those bottom two words there so if we highlight those we can choose to make the text bold or italic or underlined or whatever let's make it bold alright so now we have text on top of our image the problem you can see immediately though is that because we're using white text it looks fine against that nice colored background but as soon as you go over light, uh, a light part of the image the text disappears and it's hard to read so what we need to do is to put an outline around that text and that's not uh, very straightforward in GIMP there's a special step that you've got to take and I'm going to show you now but um, it, it's really important it really pretty much regardless of what background you're using there will always be places where the text melts into the background so as a matter of course it's worth always taking this step and what we're going to do is on the right you see here there are two layers the background layer is the image and the, the layer on top is the text the first step that we have to take is to right click on that layer and convert that text to a path it basically means changing it into uh, being recognized graphically as opposed to textually by by the software. So we click text to path, that's the first step and then we go to the edit menu and go all the way down there and we're now going to do something to that path that we've created. We're going to put an outline, we're going to stroke the path and uh, around the outline of the path. So we click on that and I want the outline color, this, the uh, stroke color to be black so let's switch those two around and now the foreground color is black and let's go with a, a line two pixels wide you can adjust it to style we press stroke and there you go you can see there's an, an outline around that text and even where it crosses over the light part of the image uh, it's still quite clearly visible um, 
Next thing we can do is merge down that layer and now we've got a single layer, single image with the text and it's ready to be exported um, as a slide for use in a service. You may also want to do a couple of other things. You might want to uh, change the size of the image. This one is 1600 by 1067. It's a little bit bigger than what we need probably. Um, you could reduce it slightly and uh, you can do that by going into image scale let's see what happens if we make it about 1200 pixels it'll come down to 1200 by 800 um, maybe that would be better slightly smaller um, so we've scaled the image a little bit if we wanted to to cut out some bits we could we could uh, do something like that highlight it using a box and then go into the edit menu and say crop to selection uh, we've now got an image which we can save file export as if you try and choose save as it's going to save it in GIMP's native form which isn't recognized by most other software so we want to export it as either a a JPEG or a PNG file so it defaults to PNG and we could say children.png export and then we will have made our image and it can be used in OpenLP now.